Welcome fellow collectors, heavy equipment enthusiasts, and friends. You have joined me for another brand new edition of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we're going to be doing a complete unboxing and review of the new for 2022 Diecast Masters Core Classic Series 1 to 50 scale Caterpillar 323 FL hydraulic excavator with a thumb. The item number is 85924C. And again, if you've ever seen a recent Core Classics review on this channel, you know that the letter C does designate that this is in the Core Classics line if the brown outer shipping box didn't already give that away. So let's go ahead and begin the unboxing. And while we're doing that, I'll give you a little bit of insight and tips on how this model came to be and why it's in the Core Classic series line. So let's cut the tape on one end, as you can see here, that I have already done to save us a bit of time. Doing that, we'll unveil the actual model's box. This is just the brown outer shipping box to protect the model and the model's box. There you go. That's a first look at the model. So here we go. 150 a scale. Diecast Masters real, rep real replicas. The item number and, again, the description. Please bear in mind, if you are just coming across this video and my channel for the first time, these are absolutely not toys. Please do not buy these for your children. That's why Diecast Masters has a minimum age box at the bottom left of 14 and up. Again, that is a minimum age. These are intended for the adult collector. And really, when we're talking about cat models as a whole, the whole reason that the cat merchandise program and specifically the cat scale model program was initiated was to really help sell the real pieces of equipment. So for example, when somebody would buy a brand new piece of cat equipment from the dealership, oftentimes they would be presented with a model of that specific piece of equipment that they just bought a real version of as kind of a token of their appreciation, as a little gift to give. Uh, and again, it's big business nowadays, but that's just one of the examples of how marketing works and why it's still going strong today. All right, so this model, again, as we continue on with the unboxing, this model started life in the Diecast Masters Highline series about six years ago. It was one of the very first purpose-made Diecast Masters models. That means, of course, it wasn't a Tonkin or a Norscott model. This was completely brand new Diecast Masters tooling. On the back, if you're into the real information about real machines, please pause my video right now. You can read all about it. Over here, we have a picture of the 323F at work with a thumb on it in a black and white photo, so that's nice to see. So why is this now in the Core Classics line, you ask? Well, by definition, usually when a Diecast Masters Highline Series model goes down to the Core Classics line, that doesn't mean it's losing any of its value or its functionality or its detail. Usually what that means is that either now or very shortly from now, there will be a new version of a 323, for example, in this case, coming out. So they kind of need room in uh, the Highline Series for the new model that's coming, so we can all look forward to that. So that is why the 323F for 2022 is now in the Core Classics line. Here is your Diecast Masters cat catalog. Again, I encourage everyone to keep hold of your catalogs. You can keep up to date with all of the new releases for that model year. So this comes in a plastic pull-apart former, as you can see here. Thankfully, for all of our sanity's sake and for video time's sake, there are no twisty ties. So all we have to do is pull apart the plastic formers very carefully. We can then lift the model out. We're not totally done with packaging yet because there are a couple different plastic formers around the tracks. These are there to protect the tracks and keep them from separating during long trips across vast oceans as they go from Hong Kong to your display case. And with that, the model is free from the packaging. When we come back, we'll take a look at the details and decals, and then we'll take a look at functionality. Okay, so... Again, bear in mind that this model came out around 2015, early part of 2016. So this does not feature the most recent cat trade dress or cat logos. This has your power edge or power stripe, which would have been accurate to that time period. You can see that the tracks and frames are very detailed, including all of your different wear plating and all of your different texturing on the tracks themselves, which look really good. You can see the detailing that's in the actual casting. There is a warning label here, as well as CAT 323F, L. Your operator figure, unfortunately, will be in this cab for your duration of, of owning this model because, again, back in the day, 
CAT required that diecast masters have an operator figure inside the cab of their equipment so they never made them removable. You can, of course, get around this if you want to do things the hard way, and that is completely disassembling this model and removing Bob that way. But really the most important thing you need to know about the last 35 seconds is that if you buy this model, Bob is not removable unless you want to do some pretty serious model surgery. All right, other details and decals. There is a silver decal on the mirror here, as well as the mirrors on this side. The hand and grab rails, although sturdy, appear to be made of a heavy grade plastic and not metal. You do have multiple hydraulic lines going not only from the cylinders on the boom and the stick, but also powering the cylinder for the hydraulic thumb. That's really good to see. Nice little detail. There are several really large connecting points and rivets, but they are at least attempted to be disguised by some cat yellow paint. So we got to give them at least a little bit of credit there. Again, another light. We do have some texturing, listen, for your anti-slip all the way around the machine and your different points of access for if you need maintenance done and you need somewhere to step while you're doing that maintenance. Here's some more detail with more hydraulic line details, air hoses, that kind of stuff going up to your cylinders. Here's a good look at the guard here over this cylinder. That's nice to see. And if we take a look at this bucket, allow me to give away a little bit of the functionality just to show you the detail. So here is your thumb, what that looks like, and what your bucket looks like. So your bucket has five, or rather six teeth on it, and then your thumb has uh, five teeth on it, and it will close up nice and tight. You can see that. If I turn it here, you can see that they are interlocked. Okay, so that is the details and decals. Let's take a quick break. When we come back, we'll get into the best part of these videos, and that's showing you the functionality. All right, for functionality, right now we will move our vehicle from a parked position and show you what it looks like when this machine wakes up and starts its shift at the job site. So, of course, you first need to lift your boom and stick up, curl in your bucket a little bit. Your tracks are metal. They are linked and spring tensioned. You can see that hopefully very clearly. You can move them by hand and on any surface that has some friction, obviously by design, the review table does not have any friction. So if I attempted to move them, they're just going to skid along like, uh, well, if yours truly attempted to, uh, baller attempted to go on some ice and do a ballerina dance, it would not go very well at all. Boy, that would get some views on this channel, wouldn't it? Anyway, you can also rotate it 360 degrees as such. That's the functionality of the excavator part of it. Let's take a look at our boom, stick, and bucket. So we can come back to here, which is pretty darn good. Can't complain. We can put our stick out to here, which is also excellent. And we can get our bucket all the way out to here, which is also pretty excellent. You will notice that the cylinders, at least on my model, appear to be a little weak. So that's why we have a bit of boom deflection here. This can, of course, be fixed, which I will probably do as soon as I finish filming this video. And the main reason for that is these cylinder jackets themselves are plastic, so a lot of, a lot of times plastic doesn't necessarily hold the weight of a die-cast metal boom. And then again, you also have to take into account that you have the added weight of the thumb on here. So that's the higher end of things. Let's go and dig a little bit. You can see it will go down to here. Again, excellent. Can't complain about anything there. You can come into here, also very good. And your bucket will curl almost all the way in, although you have to take into account that you now have a thumb on here, so it won't necessarily curl in as tight as perhaps you'd like to see it. There is a lot of cylinder, in fact, still showing. So that's the functionality. Let's take a look at the last bit of functionality, which is, of course, the thumb. So here it is fully retracted. You can see that uh, it does close all the way up, which I'm very happy to see. Here's your bucket. And as you saw before, you can fully close it as well. So pretty realistic function there, uh, especially if you are using this in a land clearing diorama or a demolition diorama. Um, this is an excellent model to get for that, particularly if you have some model trees by uh, Walther's Scene Master, for example. You can put them up in here, and they this machine even... With this type of cylinder, it is strong enough to hold those trees because they weigh next to absolutely nothing. So that would be a fun pose to have inside your thumb and bucket. So for the last pose, 
let's have this next to a Diecast Masters dump truck. So let's bring in a Western Star dump truck. Move him slightly into frame here. You can see him. We will rotate our excavator over the side. Put our bucket out slightly. And then finally open our thumb completely. And there you go. So even with just two models, you can have a very nice desktop display on your desk at work or at your home or even in your display case. That will conclude this model review. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you like this model and this video, give us a like by smashing that like button. Share it with your friends. If you have any comments or questions, please utilize the comment section in the bottom. Finally, take a look at your screen right now. You will see a couple other suggested video links that are a whole lot like this one. So if you liked this video, I encourage you to check out those videos as well. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next review.